Part 5, we are going to start the special move this time. Before that, let's recap all the wormholes we have in the script, so not getting lost. Wormhole X, and U, signal of the punch when it is active. X is on player 1, U is on player 2. Wormhole Y, and V, signal of the kick when it is active. Y is on player 1, V is on player 2. Wormhole O, and P, the value of the player in Y axis, to check if the players are in the air. O is on player 1, P is on player 2. Wormhole Z, and W, signal when the dash is active, for the smoke effect. Z is on player 1, W is on player 2. Wormhole L, checks all players located sides, mainly sending the signal to flip the directional control. Wormhole A, for development purposes, connects to the number in the center of the screen to show the output value. Ok, let's start. For the special move setup, I keep improving in all different versions. To be honest, I think one or two versions are really bad due to optimizing the one before finishing the game. Especially on the early versions. So this time I use all the knowledge I had before, and build a new setup instead and see if this works better. You may have different special moves in your game, so this one gives you an idea how I made the basic ones. And you can make one for your own game. Before we start special moves, we create 8 directional inputs first. Pull out a 2D marker nodon. Use map to convert the inputs to 0 to 1. Make sure when the bullseye returns value 1 and place it in 8 different directions. Next step, create the setup that will flip the commands when switched on the side. Use the wormhole L. Connect to not nodong. Player 1 side, L is 0 and not is 1. So forward multiply to not. Backward multiply to L. Then add these two values together. Do the same for the other four directions. I don't waste more nodon on up left and right, since I don't use any commands involving these directions. Create a visual setup, helps to show my inputs. Ok, we finish this directional setup, starting with our first special move. Hadouken, known as Fireball, is a very basic move in every fighting game. So we start with this one first. The command is like this. First of all, pull out a flag, connect it down. When the flag is active, turn on a timer. Player has to finish the whole command before all the flag node on reset. Check if the next input is down forward. Use M to check the down forward input. I connect to my side flip setup here instead, so it works on the side switch. 
If the first command and second command succeed, it turns on the second flag. Check if the forward press before the second flag reset. Connect the flag, and forward with, AND. Then connect the heavy punch button with another, AND. Let's connect wormhole A, and take a look. Ok, the command input works, so we are going to set up active frames, animation and damage. For the active frames, the same as normal moves use a timer for that. Heavy punch fireball, set the active timer to 0.75 second. During active frames I have to shut down all the inputs. Connect the timer with wormhole F. Pull out and exit F, and turn off the flag of all the buttons. Also connect to the sticks not nodong. Now the fireball has active frames applied. I use turn animation for the move. So I connected the timer to a map nodon and set the output range 0 to 5. Pull out a launcher. Connect the trigger from 0 nodon to the launcher. Connect the launcher to the person. The person already hit the connection limit, so I move the FX nodon to the Joy-Con object instead. Snap the launch positive Z to target negative Z. Set the launch direction to negative Z. This is a heavy punch fireball, so I put 20 on the launch speed. Let's take a look. The fireball stuck. It's because the invisible wall makes the projectile have not enough room to move. Beside this, we also have few settings that need to change. Let's reduce the size of the launch a little bit, so it gets more room to move. Set the person turn speed to 1, so the fireball will not shoot in Z. On the person node on and two ends of the invisible wall, add the sphere type and destructive setting. Change the launcher destructible by person and box. Back to the game screen and try again. Works great here. And you can't press any button during the active frame of the special move too. Now, set up the damage. For the fireball, I use an object on break here. Connect to a map, and set the damage on the output range to 30. Like other attacks, connect to multiply here, so it will check if the fireball gets blocked or hit on the herd box. Player 2 has two touch sensors, which is herd box and block indication. Add sphere into, which object. The whole setup of the fireball is done, let's make a copy and connect to the light punch.
change the timer to 0.5 and launch speed set to 10. Go back to the game screen and see. One more thing that needs to be fixed. Fireballs shouldn't shoot in the air. So we add a height check here. Go to the dash setup and copy this to the fireball. Multiply it before the timer. Now the fireball cannot shoot in the air and the fireball setup is done. Let's copy this fireball setup to player 2 before we forget what we have done. We probably need to change the player 2 side here. But changed it after we checked on the gameplay. Fix other things first. Connect the punch key. Set up the damage. Connect the fireball action. Connect the launcher. Keep in mind the connection of person is already full, so you have switched the FX connection to Joy-Con instead. Change the wormhole. Connect the launcher again. Change the wormhole F to E which is for shutting down all the controls buttons. Don't forget to shut down the stick too. Let's take a look first. As I said, we also have to flip the wormhole out. L connection changed to not, not connection changed to L. When player 2 threw the fireball, he got self-damage. That's because the damage setup of fireball is an object break of sphere. We switched to cylinder on player 2 instead. After that, add cylinder destructive to both person and on. Add cylinder to both touch sensors on player 1.
change the cylinder only on player 2 object break mode on. Make sure object break on player 1 is only sphere. Let's take a look. As a cylinder projectile, I would like to rotate 90 in X instead. So we can see the top on the side. Alright, this part video ends here. Next one I will keep going on special moves setup.